I am uh, Wout Boldewijn and first of all, uh, oh. first of all, I'd like to say it's not only me, but it's me and all my friends who are um, together in this uh, effort. Okay, we can start, please. So, uh, today um, I will talk to you about the principles behind union by fiction. So, first of all, uh, I have to say uh, that my talk will not so much be synchronized with the pictures as I will today try to explain the principles and I found it very hard to take pictures of principles. <laughs> However, I think they will adequately display the atmosphere of which I will be speaking. Okay, so um, we started this uh, initiative called Union by Fiction. We are uh, a group of uh, professional visual artists from this region. Although this region and the city of Maastricht are known for their rich cultural life, we are convinced that there is room for improvement, especially concerning the visual arts. We think that the local professional art branch has become introvert and that there is a challenge to open up the field to the general public, as my introductor just said. We think it's important because of the inherent communicative nature of the visual arts. We are used to mostly seeing the same people at openings and vernissages. The visual artists need to establish themselves outside of already gained ground. We need to actively search out the public to engage in a direct dialogue between the artist, the work and its spectator. To achieve this, um, one of the most important principles is that we aim to bring people together by using imagination, theirs and ours. As our society has become increasingly disconnected in the analog sense, we believe that a lot of grief amongst people can be avoided if only they got to know each other. Furthermore, we think that in most situations, the bringing together of people will create new opportunities and insights. The way in which we go about this is to use what we are best at, the visual arts. We find that in creating art, there is a sort of a, a golden train, a train of thought and perception. As we are professional artists, we have experienced that artwork always seems to be going in a certain direction. It wants to include certain things while excluding other things. The creative process, as it were, puts you on a track. We exploit this effect during our projects to help participants to realize that they can contribute and achieve something beautiful. Also, in the creative process, we think, you are from start to finish enveloped in what you are making and how it looks it becomes possible to separate oneself from the framework of daily life and to be in a sort of open creative mood. We think that this open mood can help bring barriers between people down and can combat existing preconceptions. As soon as people are working together on a work of art, what happens? They, they start communicating with each other in a positive creative way in which there is an emphasis on possibilities rather than problems, and which always seems to move forward uh, in, the direction to the, in the direction of the future, in, uh, to, towards the finishing of the artwork that day or for the project. It is this mindset that enables people to see each other in a more positive way. The artwork not only provides a convenient distraction as a subject, it can also guide the creators by being better in a certain way as opposed to another. During our project, projects, we always search out and exploit this kind of constructive, creative atmosphere in which traditional boundaries between people start to fade. And we have come to learn that by trying to be professional artists ourselves, rather than concentrate uh, on, the, on the more social aspects of our projects, we are better able to make the whole system work. Although it is straightforward, it has proven very important to get all the necessary conditions just right and we have noticed that it is very easy to fail on one or several of them and thereby significantly, significantly reduce the ability of the project to reach its desired goals. So we see this happening often. It is uh, almost too easy to forget about something, uh, for example, uh, uh, 
you don't have the right materials or you forgot to invite your participants or uh, maybe uh, there was not enough attention to get all the public there to see it. All these things are very important. Um, so uh, we have noticed that um, if you get all this right, uh, something special happens. Um, in this uh, creative process, um, people are starting to um, recognize uh, what they are able of and, and they are starting to recognize what the other people with which they are working together are able to do. And um, it was actually a big surprise uh, to us that um, uh, starting to wanting to enhance the field of professional art um, uh, also meant uh, being more professional in your own work and um, that it was also possible to uh, have the public themselves take part in the creational process and um, that it is also um, uh, a workable whole. That is, um, we have uh, several projects and um, what always seems to happen is that the participants um, discover things about themselves and about uh, other peoples. So this always works great. Um, so the um, last thing I'd like to say is that our uh, principles are explained in our website, but they are not copyrighted. So everybody can try and organize projects like this. Um, and I can assure you, if you just um, arrange everything, uh, the freedom will exist to, to have this atmosphere. Okay, uh, everybody please check out uh, my website, uh, www.unionbyfiction.nl And I say my website, but I mean our website. And I will also put a little carton box at the door with our uh, card. Thank you very much.